Welcome back to Unreal. Recently I explained that there is a best way to do almost everything in Unreal, an end-to-end -end integrated default approach that works great, if you can find it. Some folks came by to tell me that's why they're not using Unreal. They don't want to be forced into making the next Fortnite clone because of Unreal's defaults. I think these people are working with a very old idea of what Unreal is capable of. Unreal is not specialized in shooter games. The games industry is specialized in shooter games. Unreal can make any sort of 3D game you want. The defaults that we're talking about are not generally first-person shooter specific. Every game is made out of, say, a hundred systems. And some of those systems are things like, how does the double jump work? And how do I use my ammunition in my first-person shooter game? But a lot of the systems are things like, how do I save and load? How do I render a glowing object? How do I log into something? How do I click on something with a mouse? These things are defaults that, for the most part, you're not going to want to customize. They're not part of your vision. You just have to do them to get the game out the door. You can still customize them if you need to. If you need to have a specialized to, you know, double jump that does a very specific thing, you can still make a specialized double jump. Once you understand how the standard double jump works, you're in a good position to understand how to create your own that parallels it, uses the same basic architecture, and actually just works. And you get the other 99 systems for free because you just use the defaults. You don't need to customize how your saving and loading works because it's not part of your vision. You don't need to customize how mouse clicking works because it's not part of your vision. Just use the defaults. In Unity, you wouldn't really be able to do that. You would get 10 systems that work just out of the box. And then when you update Unity, you would get 10 different systems that work out of the box and the 10 you were using will break. You're going to have to use 30 different library plugins that may or may not conflict with each other and with the next version of Unity, and you're going to have to program 50 of them yourself. So this is why I don't get this, this, this grandstanding. If you need to customize something in Unreal, it is just as difficult in Unreal as in Unity. But in Unreal, you only need to customize the things you need to customize and the rest of the time you can just use the defaults. And that is an enormous time saver. In fact, it's the only thing that makes Unreal usable. Unreal is a triple A engine. It is a burly beast of an engine. It does an enormous number of things under the hood that if you had to actually touch them, you just would never be able to ship your game. There's too much stuff. No one person could ever be competent at every single part of Unreal's underlying architecture. But you can get good at the two or three pieces that you need to get good at to see your vision through. And the rest of them, you can just use the defaults and just understand that they work. That is the only thing that makes Unreal usable as a game engine. It's just otherwise it's too unwieldy. If we have to make everything custom, we have to use much simpler game engines that we're capable of stuffing into our heads all at the same time. That's what Flash was. Flash was great because it was small enough that you could understand it. You could understand all of Flash. You cannot do that with something like this. This game engine is simply too big. Unity is also too big, but Unity doesn't help you. That's why it's so difficult to actually publish games in Unity. Anyway, that's basically what I was trying to get at. When I say that Unreal has end-to-end -end defaults, when I say that Unreal has a best way of doing things, what I mean is that the underlying architecture of game development has an enormous number of systems, and Unreal's architecture understands how all of those systems weave together. Once you tell it what you want, once you understand how to tell it what you want, you can weave them together very fast without having to fully understand all of the underlying code. And if you need to do something custom, you can look into it, and you can do something custom. That's it.